So this is ranked as one of the hardest questions apparently, but let's have a go and break it down so it looks, trust me, dead easy. So the diagram shows a hexagon, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And they kind of look congruent or identical, probably. Now, A, B, E, F, so the left side and the right side of the shape are congruent parallelograms, where A, B equals B, C equals X. So like it says, call them X. P is on the point AF and Q is on the point CD such that B to P and B to Q are 10 centimeters. So if you just draw a dot line that connects to P from B and a dot line that connects to Q, we have identical lengths of 10. Given that angle ABC is 30 degrees, so the whole thing, prove that you can make oh, cos PBQ. So PBQ, between the one the triangle between PB and PBQ. It can look like this. All right, I'll tell you a very easy way. First things first, represent this as separate triangles, yeah? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw two different triangles. The first triangle is gonna be ABC, with, with lengths X, X, and angle uh, 30 degrees, because we know angle ABC is 30 degrees. So this means the only length we have is AC. I'm also going to draw a second triangle because again, always good to represent this properly. And I'm going to rename PBQ as alpha just so it's easy to work with. So PBQ is alpha. So this is the angle alpha. And we know between alpha is 10 and 10. And we know that the length using at least the, the, the long side would be PQ. Now, when you begin like this, you can easily solve this now. Believe me, now we've solved it. One thing to note in this parallelogram is that for, because we know it's all congruent and for various reasons it should be equal, we can assume now that a, the length A to C is equal to length P to Q. So these two lengths are actually the same, A, C, and P, Q. So in fact, you can go ahead and say they're the same. So we can say, therefore, A, C equals P, Q. Now, to resolve this, you've got three lengths and an angle. Three lengths and an angle. The only suitable formula from the top of my head is the cosine rule. So let's go ahead and use the cosine rule for the very first triangle, yeah? So I could say where, you know, you can let AC be your little a and angle be the capital A. I could say now, you know, using the general formula with A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. That little a is AC squared. The little b and little c's are the x's. So x squared plus x squared minus 2 times x times x, which is 2x squared, cos um, 30. And the second equation for the set other triangle will be the same thing, with pq being the little a and alpha being the big A, and tens being the b and c's. So this will also give us pq squared equals um, 10 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 10 times 10, which is 200, cos alpha and there we go guys here is our two equations we're going to work with okay now because we know that these two ac and pq are equal so of course the squares will be equal to this means that these two equations are equal to each other okay so we can say now so x squared plus x squared so we can say that 2x squared minus 2x squared cos 30 we'll get to cos 30 in second must equal 10 squared plus 10 squared so 100 plus 100 which is 200 minus 200 cos alpha okay so not so bad looking back at the equation they look like they just subtracted 200 somehow okay so let's go ahead and do that yeah so subtract okay oh yeah and let's firstly do of cos 30 so to work out cos 30 if you don't remember the the trig triangles just draw your, your typical triangle triangle label 130 and use the one two three rule suppose we call this angle length one this means that opposite, the hypotenuse would be 2. And using Pythagoras' theorem, you will get 3 but rooted. And we're done. So cos 30 is actually identical to... Um, so yeah, cos 30, they use adjacent hypotenuse. So it would be cos 30 equals the adjacent, which is root 3, over hypotenuse. So cos 30 is root 3 over 2. Now that actually helps us a lot. So let's go ahead and work, push this further, yeah? So we've got 2x squared, so now we're almost done. So we have 2x squared minus, so if this is root 3 over 2, if you times it with 2, the 2 and the bottom 2 cancel out. You're left with root 3x squared. 
equals 200 minus 200 cos alpha. All right, almost done, guys, almost done. Now, to make your life easy, let's divide 200 across and factorize x squared here. So you're going to have 2 minus root 3 over 200 x squared. And now you're left with 1 minus cos alpha. And guess what, guys? <laughs> this is practically it. Just switch the positions around, put cos alpha on the left side and this on the right side. And you will get, and I'm going to do this on the next page, cos alpha equals 1 minus all of that. And that's it, guys. I hope this idea helped. And just to key, just to keynote that alpha, if you remember, was PBQ.